stomach churns as you burn the cilia in my eardrums with more of your garbage. <laughs> Y'all, I said that my stomach churns as you burn the cilia in my eardrums with more of your garbage. Fronting to the masses, want to call yourselves hip hop artists. Well, I hear you talking, but what are you saying? Y'all, I said I hear them talking. But what are they saying? With the second coming of the Messiah, you best stop playing these played out player games. Always want to use the name of our Lord in vain, perpetuating genocide like Abel and Cain, sacrificing self-respect and dignity on your personal quest for fortune and fame. You stain city sidewalks with the blood of your misogyny, offering no kind of remorse or apology for pimping young girls by allergy and videos for your own cheap thrills and jollies. And no, I am not a rancher. Jolly rancher. But I sure would like to wrangle them into some kind of conscious understanding because all the respect out here that these young girls are not demanding just got me blown, blown away like the same young G's who listen to their hardcore CDs today then go back strapped around the way with their own Uzis, Nines, and AKs. Or should I say AKA? Because we all know that G is just synonymous for gangster. But while they're equipped with all this iron angst, a greater enemy is seeping through the crevices of this society, trying to gain propriety over assets far greater than this neighborhood turf would what? Because when God created this, he knew what it was worth, which is why he said, why gain the whole world? Y'all, I said, why gain the whole world? and lose your soul. So as the hearts of these young G's and ladies grow ever more bitter, selfish, and cold, Satan is in hell rejoicing at a bed and breakfast ready to fold back the sheets on your fiery eternal slumber. And y'all, I know it's like a jungle sometimes, but I'm telling you, he can keep you from going under. It's like a jungle sometimes, but I'm telling you, he can keep you from going under. And since no man can tear asunder what God has put together, don't let these clever industry pimps sever your relationship with the Most High. To all you hip hop aficionados and consumers, don't let these thug life baby baby crooners spread malignant tumors through corrupt radio frequencies to brainwaves to black lines. Because today's complacency begat times for prayer and for hip hop lyrics that are conscious yet rare. And no, I'm not stupid or unaware, I've been there. I know how you sometimes want to bob your head, yo, and back that thing up in the club with all of your friends. But if every means has an end, y'all, I said, if every means has an end, then we can no longer pretend not to hear or see a nearly bare-breasted little Kim on MTV say what? or hit a foul-mouthed Jay-Z on BET. Ladies, we can no longer ignore the score of the bitches and hoes that hip-hop music throws at us every time we walk into the room. Or hear the bad boy anthem sung for urban soldiers who die young but now rest in all those premature tombs. And we cannot exhume their souls because their fates have already been sealed. Evidence that all these tied remixes on, quote, keeping it real, can often get you killed. Can I get a witness? So let's try elevating our level of consciousness with folks like Common, Mo Steph, and L Boogie, AKA Lauren Hill. Do you feel me? Because I hear them talking, but what are they saying? I hear them talking, but what are they saying? I hear them talking, 